Taylor Swift's Eras Tour movie may have missed out on making millions more, report. The movie that captured Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is expected to top the box office in its second week in theaters. Taylor Swift had a remarkably successful summer, with her Eras Tour bringing in billions of dollars. Now, the pop icon is bringing the tour to a new audience. Last week, Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour, debuted, a nearly three-hour film showing footage from the event in movie theaters. Even though ticket sales have been high, industry experts speculate that Swift could have brought in much more money had she made some different choices. The big difference between Swift's film and other movies is that there's no Hollywood studio involved. Instead, she struck a deal directly with movie theaters. This wasn't necessarily a bad move. According to Variety, the movie has already grossed $123 million worldwide, with The Hollywood Reporter noting it brought in $90 million domestically. It cost an estimated $15 million to make, and without a studio to take cuts, that's a pretty wide profit margin. The film took the top spot at the box office last weekend, and even with Martin Scorsese's highly anticipated, Killers of the Flower Moon, bowing this weekend, Era's tour, is still expected to hold firm at number one. Notably, it's the highest grossing concert film in US history, and it's the second highest October debut. Still, there are some things about the movie that have made it stand out from others, and not necessarily in a good way. One is that Swift has openly encouraged viewers to get out of their seats and dance and sing, something that's certainly not typical movie theater etiquette, and something that many more traditional moviegoers certainly won't appreciate. She's also listed ticket prices at $19.89 for adults, a reference to her 1989 album, and $13.13 .13 for children and seniors, 13 is her favorite number. For audiences in some regions, these prices are much higher than normal, with some seeing as much as a $10 price difference between a Swift ticket and any other ticket for a showing in the same time range. It's hard to balk at a $90 million opening, a studio executive told The Hollywood Reporter. I think it's great for the industry, but there was money left on the table by not having professionals handle it. Another example of how different the release of Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour, is from other films happened with the movie's opening. At the last minute, Swift announced that they'd be rolling out the film a full day early due to high demand, so the debut happened on a Thursday instead of Friday.